Welcome back to Dr. Skills' Thumbcraft Magical Adventure. Last episode, we, we made a wand. And absolutely nothing else. This this episode, we're going to make sure... We're going to do some actually interesting stuff. For once in my miserable life. Yeah! Um, right. First things first, we need a sugarcane farm. This is really important. Sugarcane is a useful thing. Paper is actually like probably the most useful thing you can have in Thumbcraft, which is why I cared so much about finding the sugarcane, which I'm quite happy I did find. In fact, Thumbcraft is pretty much unplayable without sugarcane, and it seems like a pretty good place to grow it. Oh, that's done. I was going to make a bookshelf, but then I realized I have a village and I don't have to. Okay, we're actually going to have to make it. That's, that's, oh, I don't have any food. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, I just had a... Sorry, I just had a brief stroke. Um, okay. We need leather, which is why leather is important. Do we have leather? We have a leather! Okay. Let's go kill some horses. It actually worked. Hmm, that's not a cow. Well, might as well keep doing it, because I will be needing more leather. Leather and gold. Thumb and numb people's favorite s s stuff. F*** you, dirt. I want to pick that up later so it can inconvenience me slightly. I've heard the punch a tree. I don't think anyone will notice. Arg! Okay, that took way longer than it probably should have. Uh, this is how you get a Thumbonomicon, everyone, but how? This is the Thumbonomicon. I'm probably gonna eventually make a guide on, like, important things to research. But first, <laughs> we need a research table! <laughs> how? I said how? Isn't that how you do that? What? Am I the dumbest person ever? I got. That's what happens when you don't check your thumb and omicron. Don't, don't get things wrong. And then you feel like. <laughs> how? This is a arcane work table. You can put your wand there to do special crafting, which I'm not going to be doing, because. I have nothing to craft and I need that one. Okay. But oh man, I have this thing, but I, I, I can't research these things. Whatever will I do? This is what you'll do. You'll take a take a feather and a glass bottle and an ink sack and you'll just throw them all together and then you'll get this neat thing and then you'll build two tables. Oh, was I gonna have a special room for this? I was actually. Plop this down right there, and boom. This is my research study. To do that, we need a, a thing. We need one of a, th a thermometer. Haha! This requires two gold, a glass. I'm gonna check. Is it glass or it's glass? Which we don't have. Yay! And now we twiddle our thumbs for like five minutes. Okay, and you do that, and then you do that. Wow, we have a thumbometer. Start scanning some stuff. Wow. Oh, by the way, you need to like work your way up the scales of stuff, which would normally be a complete pain in the ass. But I'm a massive nerd, and I know a lot of combinations that will make make stuff. So I'm going to do that for probably five minutes. Once you have a decent amount of um aspects, you can actually start scanning things. And that's, that's how this game works. Whoops. 
That was difficult. You, you can also scan mobs and potentially die to them because you're dumb. And they'll attack you, obviously. Well, maybe you can if you aren't missing a bunch of stuff. Let's keep doing this! We have to make the most complicated one. Humanus. Which I consistently forget how to do despite having done it so many times. Almost like I've done this like a million times. Get off the wall. Stone. Cool. This is some fascinating content, I know. People. stupid garbage no one should ever hear about because it's complete trash. I want to pull this up actually, but I don't have any TNT. Now here comes the really fun, 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 fun part. You just take everything you have that you've um, accumulated and you scan in every single one. You can scan wands, too, and thaumonomicons. You can literally scan anything. Okay, now that you've got a bunch of aspects you can draw from, you can begin playing the game. First thing I recommend doing is getting some paper, which I have forgotten to do. You need paper to research every one of these motherfuckers a piece of paper. I don't have any, so. But oh, would you look at that? A farm we set up is actually being useful, haha. -ha. Paper is incredibly useful. Sugarcane is also useful for like alchemy and stuff, but we'll get into that probably next episode. It's alchemy is complicated, ha ha ha. Click. I'm doing this first because it's nice. No, I'm gonna make doing this research stuff look really easy but that's just because I'm a massive nerd and I have most of these memorized, which is sad. Um, and if you cheat and like look up tutorials for how to do research, you're a pathetic person and I have zero respect for you. Okay, life is easier. This just is nice quality of life changes. By the way, this, this, and this are not in base Thomcraft. In base Thomcraft, we have these ones and one extra one. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, the thermometer is useful for more than just the stuff I've shown it to be useful for. You can also use it to find these magical things in the land that I haven't seen yet. But, um... Normally you'd use goggles for this, but I don't want to make those now, as I am lazy. There is one! Wow! You can't see that with your naked eye, I mean, you kind of can, but... You can scan these for that, um... And then once you see it and you know what it is, this one's fading, which means it's bad and you shouldn't use it as much as possible. You just drain it. So, oh, you might notice my wand has um, random stuff in it just hanging out. That That's because um, when you murder something, can I find something to murder? Let's go murder something. I don't care. When you kill something, it'll drop these little balls on the ground and your wand will suck those up, which is how you... Exhibit A. Pa. Pa. Okay, never mind then. 
Okay, look, the point is, when you kill something, it'll drop those aspect orbs, which is why your wand will sometimes just get more stuff into it. Or, more ideally, you can just drain these. And when you look back that, at that, wow, it's missing stuff. You can actually upgrade the way you tap nodes, that's what that's called, by the way, tapping. If you ever bring one of these little thingies in it, by the way, to um, zero, you'll risk damaging the node, so don't do that. Uh, that could be interesting. Let's make a new wand. We're gonna make the second tier of wands. Wow! I, I've, I've researched up some gold wand caps and a great wood wand core. This wand is trash, and I'm trying not to stick with it for as um, short as possible. So for I already have golden nuggets. That makes my life quite a bit easier. What we're gonna do quickly is um, throw this together like an iron helmet. Oh, what, what, wow! You need stuff for this. Good thing my wand is not remotely charged enough. God. Okay. Well, we couldn't finish it now anyway because we need great wood, which we do not have. Uh, this. This thing right here is a great wood tree. They're obnoxious to take down, so don't feel bad if you just take like a couple of the blocks at the bottom and just walk away because these things are a Okay, just pop our wand in. Wow, now we have both of our golden caps, and now what we need to do is um, make one of these. This is the um, wand core. These are the caps. They're at 100% efficiency, which means they're pretty baseline, but that's better than iron caps. This has 50 of each thing, and if you combine them together, you would realize we can't actually combine them together because this wand is not charged enough, and I did not think about this. Oh wow, you need 9 of each. I don't have 9 of each. Haha. <laughs> first things first, you need to make the goggles, which is what we're gonna do. First thing, you need some thumb meters. If you're smart, you'll use this opportunity to scan a thumb meter with your thumb meter. Which you can do, by the way. And then you pop two goggles in there, and then you like do that, and then you need more gold, and then you take the more gold, and then you put it there, and then you use your wand, and then you got your Thing. You'll notice, by the way, that these have a VIS discount. That means instead of using 100% VIS for everything, I'll use 105% because of these goggles. You can actually notice it on the wand. That's neat. These goggles let you see all sorts of things. But most importantly for us right now is they let us see nodes. Which will help us charge up this stupid wand. Are you joking? I jumped into it. God. Ray! That's, that's okay. It's only a 300 block walk. I guess I'll go do that. But first, let me go break my legs. Whoa. We're halfway there. Living on a prairie. Take my hand, and I will show you the way. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ha! Huh, I wanted that dirt anyway. Silly creeper actually helped me. <laughs> Get it? The, the joke is that I'm actually kind of annoyed. But I don't know how to properly express emotion, so I'm just laughing about it. And now we can do this, and wow, look at that! We have a whole new one! I'm gonna leave that one right there because it's annoying. Golly! Well, I was gonna leave it there, but first, let's go do something to foreshadow the next episode. If you take a cauldron and you. Yeah. Flop it down and you know, right click it with a wand. Wow, you get a crucible. That's, that's gonna be next episode when we do some alchemy so I can light up my house. 
That's that's the plan. Thanks for watching my terrible YouTube channel. Goodbye.